Hey everybody, I am Scott Minch and this is Kemper Profiler TV. Today I am going to go back and show you the rest of the parallel path function. Uh, actually all of it because I didn't show you any of it last time. I showed you the direct mix, which is one way to get your uh, some clean guitar blended in with some overdriven guitar. Parallel path is another way. Um, I'm also going to show you the cut and paste, just in case you haven't, you know, worked that out or figured out what it does. I'm also going to show you all of my gear today. So, let's do that. That is right. Today, I'm going to show you what I'm, what I'm working with here. For guitars, I've got a 1989-91-92 Sabre, which means the body's from an 89, bought on eBay. Neck from a 91, also bought on eBay. And the hardware, meaning the bridge, uh, was from a 92. And I stripped this, painted it, put Tom Anderson pickups in it, and it rocks. This is my go-to uh, medium gain and high gain guitar for you know rock sounds. Not so great with clean stuff. Just saying. The uh, this is great with clean stuff. This thing's amazing. This is uh, I put this together in 2004. It's a USA Custom Guitars uh, carved top hollow Telecaster. This was the actual prototype for this model. I found it on eBay with the neck in 2000. For, for 400 bucks. Shit. To get one of these bodies today, you've got to spend over $500 just for the body. And uh, USA Custom, if you don't know about them, uh, Tommy was a former Warmoth guy. And he branched out and started his own company, and they make amazing stuff. I love both Warmoth and USA Custom, but uh, i got to tell you. And he also stayed in the same area in Washington State. So it must be kind of awkward when they, Tommy runs into the uh, Warmoth guys at the lumber yard. Like, hey, Tommy, what's up? Nothing. Getting some wood. You? Same. So, you know, kind of like that. Anyway, uh, so that's a great guitar. Love it for clean stuff. Very clear, amazing sound. This is a Warmoth Strat that I built a little less than a year ago. It doesn't have a bridge right now. I'm waiting on a Super V Blade Runner to show up. Um, it's got Sur pickups. That also had Anderson pickups. I've been using Anderson pickups since 1987 in almost, well, in all of my guitars until this one came along. These are Sur pickups, and this is a Duncan uh, Lil 59, which is a great way to put a vintage kind of toned humbucker inside a Strat without any modifications. Sounds amazing. Uh, the neck is quarter sawn maple with stainless steel frets. This thing's awesome. I finished it myself, and it's just awaiting the new bridge. And then we will rock with that one, probably by the time I make my next video. So hopefully by Friday that thing will be all back together and, well, I want it by Wednesday because i got to rehearse. Just saying. Right next to me is a JBL Eon 612 powered speaker, 1000 watts. That's how I hear myself in here. And uh, I'm going to use that for rehearsals this week. Ooh, can't wait. It's going to be fun. The Kemper and the, the uh, remote are actually uh, loners. Those are on loan from uh, Jimmy Buffett's band. His guitar tech, Doug Breidenbach, actually brought me in to, uh, to do some consulting with them during their uh, rehearsals for their current tour for the G System. And I showed them some stuff, made some pre custom presets for them, uh, sold them a bunch of my gear, actually. It was kind of fun. Hung out for three days and watched them rehearse. It was, it was a great time. They were a super awesome bunch of guys and a really great band. Um, so anyway, during that process, um, Doug told me to take his Kemper home for the weekend just to try it. That diabolical son of a bitch. He knew what he was doing. By the end of that weekend, I was ready to dump the G system and go whole hog into the Kemper. Uh, it took me a few weeks to uh, come to that decision, but it was there. It was lurking in my brain. And uh, that's what I've done. So anyway, this is graciously on loan from Doug until Camper USA can send me my own. So I'm just waiting on that, and he's being so nice to let me use it. 
So let's go over to the Kemper and I'm going to show you the parallel path method. Hmm? Okay, this is what we've got going on. I'm using the, my cleanish Carol Ann, which is sort of like a cranked up twin. And it sounds like this. <laughs> great for that kind of stuff. I have put a distortion right here in module B, stomp B I should say. Now what we do to uh, enact the parallel path is click on the rig button. Now there's a bunch of things, a bunch of options that uh, potentially could show up and then just uh, page over until it says parallel path. Click on that. Now you can adjust the amount of the uh, a and B that go into the signal. Now, right now, we're just going from A and B right over to the uh, the uh, output, I believe. Not a great sound by itself, but you can mix that in with the uh, with the clean sound. And it's not the same type of distortion that it just was when you were just running it uh, standard you get sort of a you get a clean but with some crunch in the background which is kind of a neat thing so there's the parallel path I'm not gonna use it terribly often I'll, I'll probably use the direct mix method myself which is going from the uh, right over here in the amp settings and then uh, just mix it in that way so now, here's what I was going to show you earlier about the cut and paste. We are, uh, I've got my distortion right here. I don't want my distortion right here. It's, uh, it's like a, you know, tube screamer kind of thing. So uh, in, when you're inside a module uh, or a stomp, just click on the uh, copy, and then go over to where you want it to be. I want it on C. Hit paste. Boom. Now we've got it in both of them. Ooh, what's it sound like in both? Ooh, great question. <laughs> It sounds pretty heavy. Um, so, tons of options. I'm loving it. Mm -hmm. There you go, everybody. Another fun Kemper video. And please, if you could, subscribe to my channel, like the videos if you like them, and share them. Um, that's how this is going to become successful and it's how it's going to continue and grow and become something more than it is right now. So, and thanks everybody that subscribed already. We hit us, I hit a hundred subscribers after the first day, which was amazing. Um, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's keep it up and I will see you on Friday. And until then, rock on.